Guess My Way is a great game for working on a range of activities related to grouping and place value, as well as basic facts. The Rec and Rec provides a visual structure and may better help pupils understand the relationships between the numbers and associated facts. I'm going to pick a number. I'll tell you which number it is. Okay, it's going to be a number 10 or less. The game is being introduced here for the first time with just two pupils, but can easily be introduced to a whole class or a teaching group. Pupils can then play this game as a purposeful, independent activity. And I'm going to make that number. I might make it by moving some on the top and some on the bottom, like that. Or I might have none on the top and all on the bottom, okay? Um, and we have to like say... You have to try and guess how I've made it. Okay, Lainey, tell me what you've got. i done four at the top and three at the bottom. Okay, so you did four plus three equals seven. Uh, what did you do, Aaron? I did five on the top yep. and two on the bottom. So you did five plus two equals seven. Okay, it's not my way, but one of you is close. Which one of us? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Why? Because I'm mean. You both got the same? Yeah. Yeah, okay, how many on the top? Seven. Seven, seven. how many on the bottom? None. No. None. So seven plus zero equals? Seven. Seven. Okay, how can you see the seven? The seven that you've made up in the top, how is it made up? There's five reds and there's two whites. Right, so here, before you had five and two, didn't you, Aaron? Yeah. You did it differently, you had five on the top, two on the bottom. Now we've got five and two by colour. Um, okay, neither of those are correct. What? Have another go. <laughs> what have you got, Aaron? I had three on the top, on the bottom I have four above. Four. So you've got three on the top and four on the bottom, there's seven all together. What have you got, Lainey? I've got two on the top and five, uh, one on the bottom. Okay, so two on the top, five on the bottom, how many all together? Seven. Seven. Okay, Lainey, this one here that you've just done, mm -hmm. which one is that really similar to that we've already done? underline it. Which one is that really similar to that we've already done? That one? Okay, why is it similar? Wait, isn't it? Wait, it might be the, it's this one. Okay, why is it similar? Because it's just the other way around. Ah, okay, so it didn't seem to make a difference whether I did 5 plus 2 or whether I did 2 plus 5. The total each time was 7. Okay, so these two are quite similar. Who managed to guess my way? Ah, Aaron guessed my way. Well done. So that's why I said when you both end had this one, I said it's quite close. And the reason it was close was because I just had mine the other way around. In what way is it close to yours, Lainey? Because it is similar, isn't it? In what yeah. way is mine close to yours? Because you done three at the top and you done four at the bottom. What would you need to do to change yours to make it like mine? Ah, I see what you did. You Take took away one, one and then add one. Right, so you took one from the bottom and then mm. you added one back to the top. Are we going to do another game after Let's, this? Would you like to play one more game after yeah. this? Okay, we'll play one more okay. game after this. Eight. I'll see who's closest. Okay. Lady, because she got it right. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good job, Lady. Well done. Look at the bottom one. How could you know there was eight there without counting them? I did five and then... Three. Yeah, five and three is eight, yeah. So sometimes when we start to know these facts, we don't need to count it anymore, we just know it by looking at it. Oh, we did the same thing, even though you didn't see and it. And you both got it right! <laughs> ah, brilliant, okay. So we had four on the top, and how many on the bottom, Aaron? Six. Six on the bottom, four add six equals ten. That was really fun, this game.